My poor truck, man, it is definitely taking a beating, guys. To top it off, guys, um, I feel that the base actually destroyed my AC box. Base had problems, guys. One of the vehicles that I was actually, you know, been looking at to get, guys, destroying, that was my dad's car when I was young that really got me into car audio. YouTube was good man welcome 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 back to another video I already know guys I already know man your boy has been MIA for almost like two and a half maybe three weeks but the Silverado's still jamming somebody's gonna win these sundown sub for soon and don't forget man I got the two 10 inch sundown subs sitting right here guys you guys can win those two 10 inch subs by simply subscribing to the channel probably at least 180 subs away from hitting the big 10,000 mark guys that is really awesome, man. We've came a long way. We've been really taking YouTube serious for the past three years. So it's taken me three years to get to big 10,000 subscribers without no shout outs, without no collabs. It's all straight from the muscle. And I know I kind of abandoned you guys for almost like two and a half weeks. Uh, but man, guys, I think we finally got everything back in order and your boy's able to drop videos back again, man. I am no different from nobody guys. I'm a real person. I live a real life and sometimes we have uh, real life situations that go on in the backgrounds um, that need, you know, for me to, um, how should I say this? Just my full attention on it. You know, like I always say, you know, I'm a husband, I'm a father, I'm a son, I'm an uncle, I'm a nephew, you know, and, and as it goes. At the end of the day, man, those are not really no good excuses for not dropping some videos for you guys man but i decided man let's just start off this monday which you guys will probably watch this video tuesday morning um back and letting you guys know what's good um i hope you guys are enjoying your december man december is made for the family because it is a holiday month and the previous video before this one was i believe the sanding of the door panels but guys that one was actually recorded like the beginning of november and i had finally found the sd card for that that's why you guys actually got to watch that later that video you know a month and a half after because um, I finally found the SD card and those door panels are long gone um, I'm gonna see if I can get a picture of the door panels vinyled up because I just pretty much just want to get those door panels out of here and done um, and the customer got some but I will ask him to send me a picture of the door panels so you guys can see the final outcome the other day man all the Christmas inflatables was everything up but just over this weekend, guys, we actually had a crazy storm it's here in Florida. So, man, we had to take all that stuff off. And I will be putting that stuff up probably later on today or if not tomorrow. Let's walk back here to the station where we work um, at underneath the tent. My tent actually got mangled up during the storm, man. It had like flu, man, and it is done for. That is actually like, honestly, guys, like the sixth tent this year. RIP to the tent once again, but it's time for a new one so we can get back to work Your boy just pretty much has like tools and stuff scattered everywhere where which I will be cleaning up and just making sure everything that I got It looks a little bit more nicer and neater without any of the builds that we were working on uh, Like I have some vinyl right here uh, Big old tweeter Everything man, you know the ring I am working on getting a online store going guys which I will be selling uh, wood rings with the router lip on it just in case you ever want to go ahead and build your own fiberglass uh, door panels, door pods, speaker pods, wall panels, whatever. I'm going to be offering uh, wood rings, uh, 6, 10s, 12s, 8s, tweeter rings, uh, horn rings, everything with the router lip that I do so you guys can go ahead and get your projects going as well I probably will be selling the two-part glue that I use for the actual fleecing on the door panels uh, with the wood rings and the actual fiberglass mold uh, because I know some of you guys in the comments ask what do I use for it and um, I'm gonna give that available for you guys so you guys can go ahead and purchase it from the website the website will be dropping in 2024 I am working on it right now um, I got to get familiarized with it and make sure everything's a thousand percent before we start uh, selling stuff on the website. And we will be selling some merch shirts as well too, man. 2024 guys, I cannot wait for 2024. Um, I'm just trying to finish all this Christmas shopping and anything else that needs to get handled uh, out the way so we can start off 2024 with a bang. Mine is the kids, look at this, there's chocolate wrappers. Cheetos, all that stuff, minus all that guys, everything still is 1000% on the Silverado. Honestly, it really did pay off um, wiring everything back up the way how it is right now. 
with it being nice and neat and all the connections nice and solid guys um, this truck has not failed man this thing is really really nasty I feel you guys remember man this thing was a complete nightmare and I have not messed with it ever since after Orlando the classics um, it is still you know everything's still intact every still everything is still the way I had left it from the last video of mounting all the amps and everything everything's still set I have no reason to mess with it um, and it is working you know more than what I could ever expect man this thing is beating and jamming my poor truck man it is definitely taking a beating guys so with this thing just like moving a lot like crazy with the base because on some notes man this thing just moves like crazy it like completely broke the mechanisms off uh, the handle so I really have to use this guy right here stick it in there and then move, uh, move it here and there to get it to work to open up the console there's, it's open my kids homework um, so the console is like completely broken from this part right here so I think probably uh, 2024 we are gonna remove this console and then we're gonna build something uh, aftermarket wrap it in red and just have a working console just because you know this is broken and I want my cubby hole I like to use my cubby hole and then we're gonna get a nice little switchboard uh, you know hook up the, the EQ and um, the switches and all that stuff so we can just have a, a functionally working console but when we build the console guys I think I'm gonna put like a 10 and a tweeter on each side just so we can have a little bit more vocal and then um, We'll just connect those in and we'll probably end up just swapping out. I do have the 1800.1 Terra amps um, Which we will probably end up just putting the 3000 watt Terra amps um, and hook that up for the three tens so it's six tenths on that 3000 so it's a little bit more louder um, because I feel that you know these four tens could probably use a lot more power but just adding those two extra uh, speakers on another amp it will actually make it work a little bit better and it'll be a little bit more louder and then you know we can just keep the um, the 250 uh, slash 2 DS Terra amps just on all the tweeters um, just keep that the same we'll just wire them in there I do want to put some tweeters on top just because I feel that we're missing some eye level no, um, you know, music. So we'll see what happens with that. This completely broke off as well too, guys. Um, this sometimes falls down as well too. Like you see, even like this thing's like real, real loose. This whole panel is loose. And to top it off, guys, um, I feel that the bass actually destroyed my AC box. I don't know if you guys can hear that noise, but it should not be sounding that loud. I mean, it does get cold, but it just makes that really, really loud noise, and you know, your boy's not about that life. And I feel that the bass actually just ruined the AC box, so I'm probably gonna have to have that checked out um, here soon. It's a little bit cold nowadays, so I'm not really much worried about it. But man, you know, we are in Florida, and it does get hot. And the last thing that I, the last thing that I want is to be having hot days in the Silverado. Those are just bass head problems, guys. I'm pretty sure some of you guys go through them. Um, even people that have the bigger builds. Um, this is my daily driver, so it kind of sucks even more. So, um, my man, well, uh, it's nothing that just can't be fixed. You know what I'm saying? Now, another big thing that I actually want to do for 2024 is I want to buy maybe one or two vehicles um, so we can actually really get into, like, real deal big boy builds. Um, my Silverado, it is straight and everything, but I don't consider it a big boy build. It's just a nice little fun uh, street jammer, but it's not really one that's a ooh and awe factor, I feel like. One of the vehicles that I was actually, you know, been looking at to get, guys, my favorite truck of all time is the Chevy S10. I used to have one when I was in high school, and I think it's time to go ahead and live that memory once again and get a Chevy S10, the extended cab. Um, I don't care too much about the step side, man, but if I could find one exactly like this, either red, white, or black, man, your boy's gonna grab it. And you see, it does come with the little door that opens, which is really, really badass, so we can actually go ahead and build the box and slide it in. And you see how much space there is um, with the seat reclining back. Although I'm not a tall guy, um, if I do build a box that's inside the cab, uh, I do want to be able to recline the seat just, you know, for comfort, you know what I'm saying? Now, if I do happen to get this truck, guys, this exact one with the door opening, the first system that I actually want to do in it is do like four tens uh, firing up with the port firing up as well too. Or I'd like to fire the subs up and the port firing down. 
um, just so it has, you know, sound uh, to bounce off of, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like if we were to do the subs firing up and the port firing down, or vice versa, the subs firing down and the port firing up, and just do a small little mountain on top with some mids or the amps, I think that thing would actually bang out like crazy. And then just do some door panels and probably do like three tens, uh, two horns, and two tweeters per uh, front door. I think that that thing would fucking be ridiculous loud and banging. But whatever tens that we do, guys, we at least got to be able to put 8,000 watts on those tens. Like, no more entry-level subs, man. We're just going to do nothing but big boy subs. Even if it takes us almost two months to buy all four tens, uh, we are going to do tens that are at least 2,000 watts a piece, or we can put 8,000 watts on it. And, you know, we're going to go all out. We're going to get, like, a real nice... Uh, MacMan alternator on it. We're gonna get all real badass batteries. Um, you know, we learned a lot already from doing the build on the Silverado. Silverado build was just like to learn about stuff, experiment, see what works, uh, see what doesn't work. Um, so now we're doing a lot of uh, the build and experiment with Silverado when we do this next build on the Chevy S10. If we get that, um, man, it's gonna be insane, guys. Like, no more playing around, man. We're gonna step up big. Um, with the sound system stuff man we we're gonna i'm not gonna say we're gonna step on on throats man but you know we're gonna put in some work guys we gotta give you guys some fire content and we gotta you know give you guys hair tricks whenever i see you guys at these car audio shows as well too i'm gonna try to make it to a lot more shows all over the place this year guys you know it's time you know we're almost to 10,000 subscribers um man it's time to start meeting some of you guys it's time to start playing with the big boys i want to get a tent with the mousetrap name on it travel man see you guys jam out with everybody else and man we're gonna put on some serious work this year coming up like i said the first sound system we're probably just gonna do four tens then after that i want to go ahead and you know cut you know we're gonna take the rear window out and then we're gonna cut all this section out put a topper on it and do a big old wall and probably try to do like either we'll do 12 12s in a fourth order or we'll do eight 12s in a sixth order just so it's windy um and then you know if we do 12 12s um that thing has to have at least like 30,000 watts on the base and if we do the a 12s i feel that even if we do like 15,000 watts we can get away and that thing will still be windy and powerful um and do a nice little wall panel with mids and all that stuff PRV speakers all over the place right here was another car that I actually worked um, Destroying that was my dad's car when I was young that really got me into car audio Was like one of these like small. I don't know if this is a Buick Cutlass or what is it? Yeah, I think it's a Buick Cutlass uh, My dad used to have one of those when I was like really really like element in elementary and I used to like take the radio out switch the speakers from that from you know home speakers and all that stuff so i would actually like to buy one of those something with some speakers in it like this i think it has like six tens or eight twelves in the trunk and i think it's just beating like crazy the pur if i were to get this car the purpose of it is just to make everything shake and like rattle like crazy the hondo's breaking off of it you see it I don't know why I love that type of stuff, man. I like seeing that rattle, everything. I think it has like, look at that bad boy, man. Eight squirrels or 18 stars. Here we go. Man, he has like so many terror amps in it. Man, this car is fire. I love stuff like that. So we would get one of those guys as well too. Probably put like eight tens in the trunk and just rattle it apart. Really time just to do the ooh and the wall factor on the channel, guys, which we will do. Um, we have done a bunch of badass builds on the channel too. But man, it's time to step it up and play with the big boys. It's Christmas time, guys. You know, we're gonna try to do some car audio stuff. I do have some people talking. I wanna get some jobs done and we're probably gonna take some in. We are gonna do those jobs, guys, cause the bills we are about to do, man, it's gonna be very, very pricey. And man, you guys watching the videos, uh, smashing that like and subscribing uh, helps your boy get that stuff done. And the jobs that we do and my little haircutting, man, we make it happen. I'm not going to hold you guys up that much. Thanks for sticking by with your boy watching the videos. We're going to get back on the grind, start dropping some more content for you guys. Man, my speech is kind of messed up because I ain't dropped the video and I forgot to talk, uh, like you see, and I forgot how to talk to you guys on the camera. But man, we're going to get back to that, man. But with all that being said, man, I hope you guys enjoy your Monday. Man, spend time with the family during this holiday season. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.